What's up, boys? Got an Arc Captain MiG 205 MP. Let's get this thing out of the box. Fastest unboxing I've ever done. We got a MiG gun with consumables, a stick, stinger, as some call it, argon CO2 hose, a round clamp, regulator with flow meter, and you have your TIG gun here with some consumables, plasma cutter, and a cleaning torch. 120 volt to 220 volt converter, the manual, and a nice little cover. I've never seen a multi-process that does all this welding and a plasma cutter, 50 amp. 205 amp MIG and TIG, pretty good. And this cleaning thing, I've never tried that. It doesn't come with the solution. Let's get one of these together and give it a shot. It has a nice size user's manual too. Pretty. These rollers select, it's pretty neat. Instead of having a dial, USB. Then you have your connectors here. Does come with a nap, all in one. That's a heck of a package. That's what she said. First section we're gonna test is the MIG. There's your rollers for the wire. This air connector is for if you're gonna use it for the plasma cutter. I'll give you an extra connector here. There's your regulator slash water separator. It'll automatically drain if it fills up with water. This will take up to a 10 pound spool. All your settings are here. So you know what to set it for. Very, very easy for amateurs or pros. I don't consider myself a pro, but I don't consider myself an amateur either. Here's where your welding wire will go. Your tension on your welding wire. Quick release. I just noticed another pretty awesome feature. <laughs> it's got a little light in there. That's where your MIG hose is gonna go. Took our gun up. It has its connectors, the wire feed, and the hose for the shielding gas. Strain relief. I like that. 30 thousandths. So it says right here, 30 thousandths is 0 0.8. This is 0 0.9. 0 0.8, we'll have that facing this way. This has a keyway. Line that up. Snug that on. You got the 030 mild steel MIG wire. Feed it through here. Get it fed through there. Spring and a nut on. These are the modes here. The MIG mode, 2T, not pulse. We're gonna go to 030 wire. That is the mix, because we're doing argon CO2. Now that's an 11 pound spool. <laughs> That's 035, that's the big wire. 0.8, there it is. It says, please connect to the positive. That's the positive there, and that's the negative. So the torch goes positive. Ground clamp, be negative. Let's get our MIG gas hose connected here. They give you some thread tape, but I don't see anywhere where you need it yet because both ends have the compression type fitting. Connect up the airflow regulator. And we'll connect it up to my 7525 argon slash CO2. Power switch is on the back. We push this button so we can adjust the regulator. Oh boy, I'm running low. What's the flow supposed to be? It's supposed to be about 25. Let's clean up this piece of steel. Still a little dirty. Well, oh, see, so it tells you when you're hitting, when they're just short. Gotta turn the gas on. Well, that's more like it. A little better when you turn the gas on than when it's not on, huh? It's run over top of that other bead. Nice and wide stitch.
Wow, this thing welds. Excellent. That will lay it on, won't it? Woo! Let's try pulse weld. See how that works. What was it? 150 before, right? 030 mix, everything looks good. <laughs> Holy cow. Woo! I'm gonna have to look into how to learn how to do that. Let's uh pop. Let's see what it'll do on this side here. I already have an old weld there, so I'm gonna go to it over it and finish it. Wow. So that's the pulse welding. I went right over an old weld and everything. 150 amps. MIG is the one on the left there. That was a stitch. The one on the right is pulse weld. Wow. Sounds violent when you're doing it, huh? So two T, when you let off the trigger, it stops. Four T, when you let off the trigger, it doesn't stop. It's basically click the trigger to start it, click it again to stop it. Then you have a spot. Let's try that. Okay, you hold the trigger and it runs for that many seconds. So it's just a perfectly timed feed. Of course, you could do it yourself too, but this would give a much more consistent looking weld. And if you're spotting panels on, you just grind the top off when you're done and you're done. Yeah, so spot welding's great for body panels. So you have the same exact spot on every one. Then you grind them down and you're done. It takes a bit to shut down. If you're shutting it down because you want to switch from 120 to 240, or 240 down to 120 you got to make sure the screen is completely off before you change voltages since you have a welder and a plasma cutter combined which is my two main functions i want to see if i can hook up the plasma cutter now and use both one right after the other without having to set up a whole bunch of different stuff let's see now we're going to get our plasma gun it's a little snug nothing crazy two pin plug it's the upper. Now when you're MIG welding, you'll be going into this one. If you're TIG welding, you'll run your hose into here. Or if you're cutting, you're going to want your air hose coming in here. So this plasma cutting. So let's put this air connector here. So it looks like you can weld and do plasma. We're basically just switching up here. Let's see. Cut is over here. Let's use the mode to get over to cut. We have 76 psi. We're at 20 amps. That's pretty thin. We can probably cut that at 20. Let's try it. I think it's saying pull this out. Yep, it went away. Uh, let me go up to like. 40. The pressure should be about 58, it's saying. Let's go to 60. Pretty good. like butter so yeah if you want to switch from weld to plasma if you're welding take the positive out switch the ground these two are the same polarity so you'll know never to plug these in the same so now to weld we just switch this put that back in there and switch it back to weld i like that we're gonna do some stick welding 
That's a nice stinger. That's what she said. Strong. We're going to do negative ground, positive electrode. You can do it the other way around if the material is kind of thin. This is a 332nd rod E7018. You have your stick setup guide here, right inside the door. For the mode we're going to want now is MMA. All right, that's 20 amp. So we'll try it at 50. Make Jeff roll proud. Need a little more, boys. I think we'd have to get Jeff roll over here. <laughs> he is the pro stick welder. I am not. Yeah. A little too hot, boys. Let's back her down to 55. Pretty thin. How's that, Jeffro? That's yeah, pretty thin stuff. I haven't welded stick in a long time. Stick welding is great. For something that's really dirty rusty greasy oily it's very forgiving that is cleaning brush i don't think i'll ever use it because basically you have to get a solution that you dip the bristles in and then you connect everything up and clean and basically what this is really used for is say you're welding um, burnished steel where you weld it and it leaves imperfections of coloring and all that this will take that off because you really don't want to sand anything that's brushed. So this takes all the oxidation and all that discoloration basically off. I'll probably never use that. And I don't have the solution. We have the TIG assembly. So we're going to hook up the TIG gun. Don't laugh because I never really learned how to do it well. So let's see how we do with this. So for TIG, like I said before, anything you connect to that is connected to this inside with a bar. That's the negative. So for TIG... We're gonna have to do the positive ground. I'm gonna have to switch over the argon to where the air is. This goes to the two connector. Might be getting a spool gun, which will go to that connector underneath. And I have to set this gun up. So now I gotta put my argon mixture into the TIG. So we're gonna take this off. Let's get our gun together here. So this is a piece of tungsten they supplied. We're going to use the biggest cup they have, number six. This is the gray electrode. My buddy Gary showed me a little trick how to put a point on these. Let's see if I remember how this goes together. So this screws into here. And your cup goes on here. And your tungsten goes in this way. I think that sticks out. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a pro. This has a trigger. Put the rest of the parts in my little container. Hook up to the pure argon bottle. I don't know how much we have left in here. A little bit. Enough to weld, hopefully. I'm going to be using the 1 16th mild steel filler. Inside the door, you have your TIG set up. So we're going to do steel 80 to 115. go to HF TIG. 2T is what we want. I don't think we want pulse. 100 amps. High frequency TIG. Let's give it a shot. Try not to laugh, boys. Holy cow, boys. Look at that. Now, let me see if I can actually join something together, huh? Get 
think I roll it down. Right, this makes perfect. Wow. I didn't even ruin a tip that time. That's a miracle. I must be getting better. I even put gloves on. So, I definitely need some more practice. But, I am getting better. I went across there and I wasn't exactly laying dimes, but then I went back and tried to fix it. Practice, practice, practice. Get this hooked up to Bluetooth. So you can set the settings here. MIG. Huh. It won't do it until you confirm. So you got your welding speed you can choose from. There you can set your wire size, your material. Operation mode. Ah, it's still on spot. Put that back to 2T. Huh, material thickness, inch and a quarter. Inductance adjustment, burn back time, pre flow, post flow, arc length adjustment, and welding current. You could do that with any of these. And I do have a spool gun coming. Can't wait to see how that works. Weld some aluminum with that. And hopefully I'll get a AC TIG. A little brief under there what it is. And some people say, why you want the app? Well, pretty good. Can't see the bottom here because it is. Can't see what's down there. Oh, it's got the store. Whoops. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So far I have the Plasma Cutter Cut 55 Pro and the MiG 205 MP. Hopefully I'll have a stack of these because I really like these. For the money, this thing is pretty awesome. And the warranty they give, they back up their product. Absolutely. That's what it looks like inside the unit. Not too bad. I got a spool gun coming in, so check that out. And I might have a few projects for this lined up. Stay tuned. So what do I think? I think it's Vin Cheesel approved, that's what I think. As good as any Miller or Everlast welder I've ever used. I'm not a professional, but I do play one on YouTube. If you guys are interested, click the links below, helps the channel. And again, thanks for watching. <sighs> Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.